for watching your favorite show polycap india's number one cable and ys company dream home season 6 like we all know a home is a person's dream and yes it's also a reflection of a person's personality today we have yet another beautiful home before that let me introduce to you our panel of judges with us on our show we have anuj gopakumar the chief architect of kumar group We also have with us Sudha, who is the architect and interior designer of Swast. And on this show, we have a beautiful home from Kodiri and it's called Cloud9. So let's take a look at this home. Hi and welcome to Polycab India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6. Today, we are outside the house Cloud9 in Kodiri in Kannur district. Cloud9 has a very good exterior landscape. As you see around, lawn grass has been spread across very lavishly. Paving tiles has been uh, used across the house, uh, like all around it. And then uh, a small car porch area has been created that feels like an extension of the house. As the design of the house is a fully contemporary style, the sit out has been kept in contemporary style as well. Natural stones has been used on the walls and one section you can see wood paneling has been done. Italian marble has been used for the floorings. Uh, ceiling has been kept very simple, straight lines has been used. Many column pillars has been erected all through the sit out area. The door you can see, it's a normal door, a plain type of door is given uh, which is uh, slightly contrast to the contemporary style. So let's move inside and find out more about this house. White is the theme that is used for the living room area. This forms the formal living room area. As you can see, it's a vast space over here. Italian marble has been used on the flooring. As for the ceiling part, the ceiling has been kept open. So the ceiling extends to the roof on one side. On one side, the, uh, we have a ceiling over here that has been done with wooden panelings. We have uh, huge windows on both sides. And uh, like as you, see, as you can see, all the colors has been formed with lighter shades. Uh, a very good design forms on one of the walls. Uh, many lightnings has been used over here, LED lightnings and then hanging lightnings, much hand, uh, lightnings has been used. Just in front of me on the foyer area, we have a, uh, a wall that is made up of natural stone. Adjacent to the formal living area, we have this dining hall. Uh, now the dining hall has, has been done up in such a way like one area acts as a dining hall, the other area acts as a patio which is like a see-through structure has been used. Again the patio extends to the uh, kitchen which acts like a bar counter. On my both sides we have uh, the two bedroom that's for uh, on the first floor. The uh, natural stone wall extends till the dining room area and now we have a staircase that is neatly tucked up on one of the corner again it's not easily seen from this side so this uh, dining hall has been kept for private from all the other sides it's a eight seater dining table has been provided for the dining section a wash area has also been neatly tucked away in one of the corners behind me we have a open courtyard area also
A modular kitchen with a island cooking range top has been set up for the house. Colors are like uh, it's a combination of lighter and darker shades. For the modular kitchen setup, all the colors are being used in, in the lighter shade and then backsplash has been done again with the darker shade. Two windows has been provided again that are darker in color and a different setup has been done all through the ceiling area that's like a false ceiling. It's also in a darker shade area and in front of me we have a pantry top so that it extends to the patio on the other side. On, uh, on my right hand side we have another separate kitchen for, like, that acts like a working kitchen and the storeroom is also provided. A contemporary style staircase has been used for the house. It's completely wooden structure which has been supported by uh, iron uh, railings. And on one side we have a wall that is filled with niches. It creates a very good ambient in the house. The staircase leads us to one layer of the house where the home theatre has been placed. And on the second layer we have the second portion of the house. So let's move in and find what's in store for us. A fully functional home theatre is set up on the first level of the house. Wooden flooring has been used. For the ceiling part, they have done a, a false ceiling and then hanging lights has been used. The matching uh, upholstery has been used and we have four large windows over here with Roman blinds. And on one uh, wall, there are like natural stone has been used in, in the half of the section. The rest half is concrete. The house is spread across 4800 plus square feet area. On the first floor, we have this master bedroom. This master bedroom is like a little big in size uh, if you look around. There is a seating uh, arrangement also been done uh, in one of the windows. There are two huge, uh, huge windows has been spread across. On one of the walls, they have uh, inserted a glass portion so that they can easily look through it to the uh, formal living area. The area, uh, the bedroom extends uh, to a walk-in wardrobe uh, area and then we have a bathroom also attached and just next to the bathroom uh, we have a courtyard as well. So that's all about Cloud9. See you next episode. Till then, have fun, take care. Bye bye. Right, so, then let's start with you today. What do you have to say about the landscape and exteriors of this home? Cloud9, they call it. I yeah. think they've given it the feel also. Wow. So, okay. it, it's a very exciting elevation. I, I like the way the house is set into its landscape. Uh, there are tall trees and there is a sloping terrain which they have highlighted by using certain elements that are sloping there. Uh, that there's a lot of uh, vertical and horizontal lines as we see in the, um, uh, in, with respect to the pillars and the uh, cladding and all that. But it's all going well together. Uh, I like the fact that they've gone for a granite, the natural stone granite plus wood plus whites 
So altogether it's, there's a good balance of all these things. Uh, in the planning stage I really like the fact that there are a lot of verandas going left and right, didn't quite connect how with this, I assume it is for the porch to uh, veranda or uh, leading from here to there, altogether it's a nice exciting cloud nine. And does the cloud nine excite you? It's an interesting looking house, I like the landscape, they have done lovely landscape, they have some area they have given a very uh, sloped landscape and uh, grey uh, stone uh, paving. Uh, so uh, some thought has been gone into the landscape, it's coming out very nice and the elevation as such of the house looks interesting, very nice. I love the natural uh, rubble, uh, granite rubble which is natural, it's not a cladding, it looks like a natural stone. Um, so that, that brings a lot of elements. Some of the stone, natural rubble stone walls have been incorporated into the house also which is a nice connection with the exterior. Um, I, I saw a, kind of like an extended uh, pillared veranda. Um, somehow I felt that it looks like an afterthought uh, and it's blocking the view to the entire house you know okay. so that that veranda could have been done little little more better but overall uh, the form of the house looks nice. All right and does the interiors interest you Sudha? By and large it's a nice uh, interior layout it's laid well drawing room is nice and large uh, there's, um, there's a lot of artwork that has been brought into it the uh, dining area is also uh, gels well the whole effect of the house is nice. Uh, there are few courtyards, I especially like the grill work which is simple plain horizontal lines which is nice uh, which you don't see these days, people try to do a lot of design on the grill of the windows, this is quite and simple. Uh, so I like that, there is an element of continuity with this exposed granite wall that they have created within the house, you'll see it on the first floor also, so that is also a very nice. The kitchen is also very smart, very sleek, I liked it very much and but looks a little dark with a little bit of uh, ceiling and panelling that has gone on to it. Altogether there is a lot of woodwork there, you don't know where the steps are, because step itself is a textured element. Mm. So on one side you have one bunch of texture, right side you have another, the step is another. So altogether that area didn't come out very well, but otherwise uh, the general scheme of things was alright. If the staircase could also have been really brought down in its uh, roughness or texture, I think it would have been a nice place. Alright, and do you like the interiors too? It's a nice uh, interiors they have done for the house, uh, it's, uh, uh, talking about the living space, it's a very nice spacious living room in white and the flooring is also in white, it looks uh, looks nice, brings a lot of light and uh, looks very cosy uh, with a high ceiling and with some art painting and all that. So the, the, the space on the, in the living space has been done nicely. Talking about the dining area, it also looks nice, it's, I, I love the natural stone wall, that looks very good. The courtyard is also done nicely with the pergola and some uh, with the pergola light coming into the courtyard but some natural plants there would have actually made it look much more nice you know. The kitchen is also nice and lovely in white and brown. Uh, the breakfast counter is also very interesting and very nice cute breakfast counter. So the, all those things has come out very nice. The staircase like Sudha said is lovely in wood, it's a, like a kind of a floating stair, the stair itself is a very nice element but the handrail and the niche wall coming all together has make it, made, made it look, uh, you know, a lot of detailing has come there and the attention is going. Uh, as itself the staircase is very lovely and uh, nice large family living in the upper space. Um, with some nice lighting given on the ceiling, so all those things have come out nice. The bedrooms also I felt is very nice and very simple, very elegant. Alright, and what do you have to say about the colour lighting and decor? Colour wise I like this uh, house, it's very well colour coordinated, simple and subtle colours, done very well. The wood is all stained to the same shade, the teak wood colours are very nice and muted tones are given. A lot of thought has been given to the accessories, I only felt it was a little bit too much. But otherwise it's very well thought of. Alright, and you? Lighting or I would say the colour is very nice, they've again like used a lot of whites and very simple and then the, the complemented with the wood finish or the wood colour, it's, it's going very well even in the lighting, the lighting has also been done, uh, some nice uh, hanging fixtures from the wooden ceiling and in the family living also you have this uh, nice light fixtures. So some, some amount of thought has been gone, like accessories like Sudha said a lot of uh, Accessories kept everywhere in the house. I think you could have toned down on that. So many uh, accessories have been kept, but overall the house looks nice. Now the last thing, which is the value for money. So, the, what do you have to say about that? I guess uh, on first sight, the house has a nice appeal to it. Okay. So, I guess it's money well spent. Okay. I I guess it's only the staircase and the 
slightly artificial looking courtyard that I, I didn't like the green grass, the, mm. the artificial plants that come there. Only that was a, a no no for me, but the staircase and the courtyard. Other than that, I guess the house is good and it's money well spent. And you, do you also feel the same? I completely agree. I think the money is kind of well spent in this house and they've, for the kind of money they've spent, they've got the desired effect. Now let's listen to the scores of this home. Let's start with you, Sudha. How much have you rated the exterior and landscape? I've given it 20. 20 on 25 and Anu? I've given it 19. Alright, 19 on 25. The interiors of the house? 18. 18 on 25 and you? I like the interiors of the house, I've given it a 19. 19 on 25 again, the color lighting and decor, so the, how much have you rated that? Yeah, it's simple and well coordinated, 19. 19 on 25 and you? I've also given it a 19 on 25. 19 again on 25, and the last thing which is the value for money, how much is that? Yeah, a couple of things brought the points down, as you know it's the staircase, so it's 18. 18 on 25 and you are known? Uh, I've given it a 19 on 25. So the grand total for Sudha on 175. And for Anuj, it is 76 and for public, it's 38 on 50, which is a grand total of 189 on 250. And it's time for us to listen to the valuable tip of the house from the judges. And today, let's choose the bathroom again. So, let's see what Sudha has to speak about this. Sudha. The topic of bathrooms again, I'd like to um, sort of enlighten our viewers regarding the position of the bathrooms. See, when we designed the bathrooms earlier on, in earlier days, we used to find that the bathroom used to be kept outside the house. It's not a place that needs to be there at all. But as time went by, we found the necessity of it and it's now an integral part of our houses. So, uh, bathrooms of different types, say the one that comes in a common area, we call it the common toilet or the half bathroom or the powder room as we call it, is a part of the uh, drawing, dining, living space that comes in. So here when we design the space, preferably the door should not face the dining or the di drawing areas. We would prefer that, that a person coming out of the toilet need not directly face the people who are sitting inside the room. So you need to have a little bit of an anti space in front of this, say preferably a wash area that could uh, buffer up the space from the toilet area. This helps to keep, uh, even if the door is open, the site is not there. So by simple uh, planning methods, we can actually eliminate or rather remove that space from this at the same time be physically quite close. Yeah. So these kind of little aspects the same thing can happen in the bedroom. So these kind of aspects if we can take care of it in the planning stage itself instead of thinking of it later on okay we need a wash can we push in another uh, toilet here or a half toilet there. So instead of doing that at the planning stage if we can actually integrate this with the house you can also have your privacy, you can also have the utility of the toilet integrated within the living spaces. All right. And you? Um, talking about again planning of bathrooms, uh, many times uh, now uh, earlier when you, you first get into the bedroom and then you have the bathroom in one corner. But uh, now there are design concepts where we are doing this when you enter the house, uh, enter the room itself, you have a kind of wardrobe space and then you have the toilet first or the bathroom first and then you enter actually into the bed space. So that becomes a separate space on its own with the door not facing into the uh, bed area you know, uh, or the bedroom area. Also the uh, position of bathroom is important so that when you are walking through the room, uh, it should not take up too much of space for uh, for movement, you know. So the movement into the bathroom is also should be minimal, so that the rest of the area you will get for uh, putting your other furniture in the in the room. So that that planning of and position of bathroom is very important. And like Sudha said, it's ideally not to have the bathroom door opening directly into the bedroom or directly into uh, a living space. So uh, so creating alcoves and anti spaces first from where you can get out from the bathroom to a dress area or something and then coming into the bedroom. Those are all nice planning planning uh, solutions where the bed, the bed space looks clean and neat. Thank you so much and yes, when I felt this is really, really an important point that all of us need to keep in mind. It's very important to plan a bathroom like the way you plan your home and with this, it's time for us to wind up with this episode of Polycab India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6.